All right, now, how many people here have ever changed a tire on their car? All right, and how many people here wish they could have a NASCAR pit crew change their tires? <laughs> we all aim for efficiency in our lives, and during our two weeks at Technic class, we all learned quite a bit about being efficient. Technic class was founded in 1969 and started out in a cattle feeder barn. It then grew to a global wide company. Technic class makes automobile parts out of plastic using injection molding. Now they do this by inserting these little pellets, which the judges were just handed out, into the mold, and then the mold compresses and heats up until the part is made. Now these molds can range from sizes between that of a milk crate and a vending machine, and can weigh between 1 and 15 tons. Now at Technoplast, there are over 800 different molds, and because orders keep coming in every day, these molds need to be changed regularly, and it currently takes two and a half hours to do so. And that leads us to our driving question. How can Technoplast employees change molds more efficiently to increase productivity while still maintaining safety? Now, our first step was to observe. And during our first couple of days at Technoplast, we observed quite a few mold changes take place, as you can see happening on the screen behind me. They were putting a mold into a press. Now, one of the first things that became apparent to us was that workers were unprepared and organization could be improved. We witnessed workers moving from one end of the plant to the next, searching for various tools and molds. Now, another thing we noticed through attending 9 o'clock meetings was that communication also had some room for improvement. And an idea we heard bounce around quite a bit was the implementation of SMED. Our second step was to research. After we heard about SMED, we decided to dig a little deeper and found out that SMED is a part of lean. Now, lean is a waste removal process in which any unnecessary action that adds little to no value to the customer is removed. Now, the two main parts of lean are 5S and SMED. Now, what exactly are the 5S? Well, the 5S is a workplace technique that we could even apply to our own lives. 5S deals with making things cleaner and more efficient, and just all around more safe. Now, if you think about it, you have a cleaner home, you got a more efficient home. Now, SMED stands for the single minute exchange of dye or mold. Single minute, not referring to one, but referring to a single digit. So an ideal change over time would be less than 10 minutes. Now, a good example of SMED is how it would take the average person with the proper tools about 15 minutes to change a car tire. Whereas it can take this in the pit car crew around about four seconds. Now, it's pretty unrealistic to imagine what that <laughs> you know, a change over time could take four seconds. But perhaps if we apply similar ideas and concepts that they used, maybe we could lower the change over time substantially. Now, a big part of getting to our solution was interviewing people connected to the changeover process. Through these interviews, it helped us get an idea of how to make the changeover quicker and more efficient. We also surveyed current employees at Techniflas on communication and the lean process. Through these surveys, we surprisingly found that 80% thought that communication could be improved, and about 69% had never heard of the lean process. Now, after we observed, researched, and analyzed, we referred back to our driving question about changing molds more efficiently, and came up with a conclusion that consists of four phases. Improving setup, Implementing SMED. Communicating. And the incentivization of safety. To improve setup, we focused on two parts. The organization of tools and of molds. To organize tools, we developed a tool cart specifically designed for the mold setters. This tool cart will carry everything they need. Inside the tool cart, we will have a shadow board. This board will display the tools in a neat and orderly fashion and will make it easy to see which tools are where and which tools have been displaced. Now, molds are huge, heavy, and take up a lot of space, as shown in the photo of the current mold storage area. Now, we have considered many solutions on how to store these molds, including racking them or expanding the facility, but the most cost-effective solution that we have come up with is opening up the inside of the facility further. Well, how would we do this? Well, 
We would remove the two damaged and broken presses inside the facility, in which their cost repair exceeds their value, and we would relocate a working press to another location. This would open up 2,107 square feet of space, which is about 500 square feet larger than the current old storage area. This area is also accessible by overhead crane, which will make it easier and safer to move the molds to and from presses. Now the second phase of our plan was the hands-on aspect, the actual change of the process. And as I said before, we began pulling similar ideas that Victor used. But the first one was preparation, which goes right along with what Brian has said. The second was adding more people. Now currently, to do a changeover, there are two die setters. With our new method, we'd be adding a runner, whose job is to transport and set the mold into the press via crane or forklift, and the operator, whose job is to simply clean up after the changeover. Now, to train these runners, it'd be $960 per shift, and for three shifts, that's $2,880. Now, this is a one-time investment, as these runners would only be trained once. Now, our third idea was a checklist. This checklist would ensure that the workers are following this med protocol, because as you saw earlier with the pit crew, multiple jobs can be done at once. Throughout our interviews and surveys, we realized that communication between ships was lacking. Techno class is three ships daily, each with designated mold setters. The board idea came to mind after we talked to a few Techno class employees and found out about the current communication board. This board that they currently have is a one-day system, and many have said it's not very efficient. The new board would be a two-day board. Now, this is helpful because the advisor can change anything that needs to be fixed, and the mold setters can and the mold change setters can see what changeovers are going to happen and with what mold. There would also be a mold changeover sheet, as shown in Appendix A in the back of your business plans. Or Appendix B, sorry. This works by the previous shift filling out the sheet with any important information the next shift needs to know. Finally, to help with communication, there would be a monthly dice setter meeting. This is a meeting to go over any important aspects of the dice setter's job. We created a template to guide the meetings, as shown in Appendix C. During our time in the techie class, I did a lot of research on safety and different ways to implement or incentivize it. Now, it is possible if we are to implement SMED, due to its quick nature, safety can be tossed to the back burner. So, we came up with a fun, competitive way to incentivize safety. We created a game called 5S Bingo to allow a little competition between shifts by following 5S and other safety protocols in order to achieve a bingo, which will earn them a free lunch at the end of the month. Now, an example you might find on this game board are under sort. You gotta keep your swivels in their proper area. We also created a lean pamphlet to help educate the workers on the lean process. Now, as I said before, the current change over time is two and a half hours. Now, with the research that we did, the company profits about $40 per hour. And with all of our new ideas, we estimate that the new time would be cut down to half an hour. And the company's new profit per hour is $200. This is a 500% increase. Now, our new method costs $38,600. And based on more research that we did, if the company invests just 5% of its gross profit, Techno class will receive its return on investment in five and a half months. But what does this look like for the future? Well, as you can see, in five, 10, 15 years, there is a substantial difference in growth. In just five years, there's gonna be a $350,000 difference in profit. Now, not everybody here may have changed the mold, but most people here have changed the tire. And both deal with improving setup, implementing SMED, increasing communication, and making sure safety is a top priority. Now, I'd like to thank you all so much for having us today. Are there any questions? Did you, when you presented this to the company, did they understand this? Is this something that they're going to implement? They've seen. Sorry, I'm probably up the microphone. Um, they seemed pretty keen on some of the ideas we had. They were very, they liked the ideas a lot, actually. 
Um, after we presented the company, we got a lot of positive feedback. People were coming into us individually, telling us like, "Oh my gosh, your guys' ideas are so fantastic." We could, you know, we got told a thousand times we could see this happening. So I would definitely imagine that Technoplast would implement, if not all, at least some of our ideas. When the uh, when you had the idea of moving the molds into a central location, and that was that kind of earth shattering for them. It was kind of interesting. Um, we actually got that idea from an employee inside the company. She has been trying to work this out, but some of the higher ups didn't see the possible advantages of it. The old ideas that we had, such as racking and expanding, were anywhere from two hundred thousand to a million dollars when this would only cost about $17,000. So this is why we decided to go with that idea instead of such as racking, which is really So lean manufacturing, lean principles in manufacturing are very huge, especially, I would say, within the last several years. Um, Toyota really has refined that lean process. Why do you think it's taken this company since they were established in, what, 1969, you said? So 50 years has gone by. 50 years for them to, feed it, to, to listen to these three kids say, you know, there's this thing called Bean. It's been around, you may have heard of it, maybe not, apparently not. Um, wh why do you think it's taken so long for them to have a light bulb switch? Well, the thing is, is they do I believe what happened is they originally tried to educate everybody on it, but they had so many workers coming, coming and going that they just kind of gave up on teaching people. So we figured maybe if we give them a pamphlet, it's a brief overview. You don't have to go too in depth on like, like a full crash course on what lean is. It's an overview. At least they have that, you know. Yeah, um, when we were doing our touring and just our time being there, we saw a lot of posters in nearly every room of Lean and 5X. And, and like I said, the interview, 69% have never heard of it. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, like Jasmine said, most people are coming in, they've worked less than a year at the plant, and the average age is like 19 to 25. Mm -hmm. And so, it, we think it was originally implemented, but our point here, standing behind that, is just push it forward. Right. Was that idea going to then um, change the way that they bring in people into their plant as far as making information available with lean when they hire people as part of their, was that ever considered with HR to do anything like that with your um, pamphlet and lean information? Uh, we did mention something about that to HR when they're training. You know, people coming in, they're getting the tour, and they're sitting down in the actual class. Um, I actually spoke to HR about it, and she said that it's, you know, it's a quick slide. And really, lean should be something that this company is founded upon. So I, I, we think that it should be definitely more, and that's why we're going to them. 